game three, just the way you guys battled back? It, it, it was such a gutty effort. Um, down three to one. You know, I thought we were actually playing very well. Um, they only had like six shots. Um, but in those games, it's it, it becomes hard to keep your emotions in check, you know, because you, you, your mind can go to the inevitable, you know, boy, we can't score. Um, you know, and then to have to, you know, kill a five minute major, um, get a penalty shot against, you know, the, the third period, first five minutes were killing a, a five minute major. And then there was four on four hockey and they pulled their goalie, so it was five on four hockey. Um, and then another penalty at the end and then they pulled their, their goalie. So, I mean, like, there's probably only four or five minutes of five on five play. Um, but I thought the guys did a really good job. Now you switch formats from the best of three now to a best of one. You think that benefits you in a way? I mean, you guys have shown you can beat just about anybody this season in a best of one, essentially. So how does that benefit you guys? Yeah, I, I think going into Mankato, trying to win two out of three is, uh, you know, very tall task. Um, one games, obviously, there's, there's going to be a good crowd. And there's, um, they're a good team. They haven't lost since the, we beat them here. Um, so, you know, obviously the, the, the task is still tall, but um, the one game shot, you know, I think if we can get out of the first period and, you know, have a hockey game and two minute, you know, it's a two period game, I think we, we got a chance. And I'm, just as a sports fan, it feels weird that, to me at least that the first round is the only one that's the best of three. I mean, do you feel that at all? Or what do you think of the way that the CCHA is? Yeah, the, like the reasoning behind it is, um, you know, let's let's take. I'll take Ohio State, who's a team in the Big Ten. Um, they were like 12 in the paralyzed going into the game on Sunday against Michigan State. So if they win that game, they're probably still at 12. Um, and then, so now they go to Minnesota. And if they go to Minnesota and lose one game, maybe they only fall to 13. So it gives you a better shot to have more teams in the tournament. So. That's the reasoning behind it. That's why we did it. Um, you know, the Big Ten does it the same way. It just gives, it, it kind of, it, it protects your top teams, but it gives somebody else a chance to, to get in too. You know, so now the lower seeds have a better chance on a one game crack than, um, than having to win two out of three. So that's the reasoning. Do you like that format? I do, yep, I do. I think it gives your league the best chance to have the most teams in. Now, one other thing that stood out to me about that, that game three was that we had three separate instances of double uh, roughing after the whistle penalties. Was this just like standard, it's an elimination game and tensions are high type stuff, or, or was that, there some extra curriculum? Yeah, that there? was the whole series. Um, you know, like, refs, refs kind of let us play. And, um, you know, I, it, was, it was a hard-fought series, really hard-fought series. And, you know, there's times that you know, I felt like it was set the game back 30 years because it was cross check and hook and hold and punch and, um, and we typically have not that's not been favorable for us. But um, you know, we talk about being tougher since Christmas, and you know, it was for that moment right there. Last time you guys saw Mankato, game one pretty thoroughly handled, and game two scored and indicated, but still, I thought right there with them. Biggest point of emphasis for you guys to, if you want to get the win this weekend, is what? Well, special teams are going to be important. Um, we have to get through the first 10 minutes because they start fast and they start really fast at home. And our, I think their forwards are as good as anybody's in the country. Um, so we have to limit their rush offense opportunities. Whatever they get, they have to earn. And we have to win. Um, the physical battle. You know, our, our 12 forwards um, have to be physical, they have to be fast, they have to play, you know, 12, our 12 against their six and, and try wear them to the point that, you know, now you have a game in the third period and, and maybe you got your conditioning a little bit better, or you get a bounce, or, but um, physicality is going to have to be sky high. Saturday at, at Tech, Joe was talking about in the best of one, maybe some lineup changes to his roster. Do you guys anticipate any tweaks or anything? I don't have any anybody else to play. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> we, we, we are, um, 
we're we're good. Got everybody healthy is playing. So you're about as healthy as you can be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I got uh, two UP high school teams in the state semis down in Plymouth. Just your thoughts on what those teams mean to the Upper Peninsula in terms of just high school hockey. They've been doing it pretty consistently too. Yeah, yeah I think it's great. Um, I've actually seen Marquette play a couple times this year. Um, I think they got a chance to win it. You know, they um, they got some experience. That the, the group of kids that are juniors and seniors on that team, um, they won the state tournament at BAMS. So they've been there, they've done that. Um, lost a couple of kids along the way that are playing elsewhere, but um, their high end's good, they got good depth. Um, I think their decor is good, their, their goal pending's good. Um, I'm definitely paying attention to, to them and, and rooting for them and Coach Carroll. Hey, Coach, I did just want to circle back there, of course, meeting Mankato in the, the semifinals in Minnesota for a best of one. This sounds a little familiar. I mean, last year we went in there, pulled off a, a pretty big stunner. Do you think that will be on their minds at all this weekend? Do you expect there might be a little extra to this one for, for Mankato? I, I think that um, Coach Hastings will have his player attention this week for sure. Um, you know, I, obviously they didn't, the score on, on Friday was a 3-2 to game and then they kind of, you know, bounced out of it on Saturday and, um, you know, won big. So I, I think he'll have their attention for sure, but there's obviously, you know, there's still a little piece to the fact that, that we, you know, we should have some confidence too, you know, because we did it there last year. We were the last team to beat them. Here. We're the only team to beat them this year that didn't score first on them. It's the only time they lost. Only one time they scored first and lost, and we were able to do that. So um, we've, you know, for in, in relative terms, um, you know, we've 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 played individual games um, in the last couple of years at a at a at a pretty high level and had a chance to win, um, but we've also, you know, been blown out. So. Um, you know, we got to be ready to play. And I just, I think the first 10 minutes of the game is just going to be so important. How about playing on the road? You guys showed you could do that. You take two on the road. I know the atmospheres will be much different, I'm assuming, in, in Mankato. Does that just give you confidence, though, knowing you can go and play there on the road? Yeah, we, we actually have a winning record in the road this year. Um, we, you know, as of late, I really think we played well. You know, we, we played very well in Bemidji. Probably should have won the Saturday night game. Did win on Friday. Uh, won them both in, in Bowling Green. Um, so you know, and, and obviously last week in two out of three. So we we've, we've done a nice job. Um, you know, being prepared for other teams to push, being prepared for the crowd. Uh, this is going to be another level of intensity. And you know, but as the game starts, it's just the people. They're outside the glass. It's the the guys between the boards are going to make the difference. I'm all set. Yeah.